Report. We are live with Bill's great Kyle Williams, and we have a couple questions for him. So, Monster, I'll let you get started. First of all, thank you to everybody here at Hall of Frame Collectibles for allowing us this time. Kyle also at himself for allowing us this time to have a couple of minutes with him for the Bills fans. So, I want to ask Kyle this, all right? I've been walking around, we were walking around earlier talking about what everybody's favorite memory is of Kyle Williams and why they are here for him. So I actually want to ask Kyle, what's your favorite memory of being a Buffalo that kept you here? Well, I think it would go back, I would go with two. It would go back to the first time being in the stadium on a Sunday, kind of feeling the energy. I'd come from a place in LSU where, hey man, football's not going to be the same when you leave here. This is SEC football, this is Baton Rouge, you know, it's never going to be the same, it's never going to feel like this again. And then go in there, and what I feel like is LSU's equivalent in the NFL. I mean, just passionate people, <clears throat> passionate fan base. That, and then I think my last game there, you know, opportunity to go and you know just uh, high five so many people, and you know, just uh, such a lasting memory for me. So really, too. Awesome. I was at that game. Very emotional. Very I, yeah, you know. It was it was tough for a lot of people. I had a little allergy fit that day. Other than that, I was You didn't want to come fine. off the field. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and that was funny. Yeah, that's right. No, but it was a great day, and I, I couldn't have dreamt of a better way. Well, I could have, you know, go to the Super Bowl, but you know, outside of that, you know, for my last day in Orchard Park to unfold that way, it could have gone. Well, actually, the last two years for Bills fans, it was great. Watching you go out with the playoffs, then watching you go out like you did the last game, beating Miami 42-17. I mean, it was a great day. The weather was on our side. Yeah. Everyone was playing and having fun. That's what I know. Yeah, and I, and I told everybody that we can officially enjoy it because we won. It wouldn't have been the same without a win. Absolutely. So to beat those guys at home, it's always good. Absolutely. How high does the touchdown run rank in the memorable career of Kyle Williams? Um, it was, uh, it's up there, but it, it's so, it fails so far in compar comparison to what happened later that night. Later in the yeah. night, right, right, you know, absolutely. clinching the playoff berth and this and that. So, but I always joke with my my friends. I go, you know, it's going to be a trivia question. You know, who scored the winning touchdown <laughs> no to you know it. to in the playoff draft the Buffalo Bills? Kyle Williams. So, I, I'm a trivia question yeah. now. So, I mean, now I know that I'm a trivia question. My career's made. I can leave. I can be done with it. So, I'm in a happy place. But a trivia, more trivia question for that would be who started that celebration. <laughs> and, and, you know, it was a big collective. You know, it was so funny. If you watch the video we scored, we're all just kind of standing there. And, and, you know, and, doing, and then yeah. it just kind of yep. comes out. And it was it was in the moment. It was organic, and it was a lot of fun doing that with those guys who, you know, we, we've gone through it with everybody on the team. You know, what's your favorite football moment? And everybody that was in that locker room and on that team had won national championships, some Super Bowls, and said that that moment in there was their favorite football moment. One question. Um, Thirteen years you put in with the Bills. Sean McDermott comes in there. What did you notice with the culture change from the other eleven years before Sean came in there? Well, all coaches do it a different way. You right. know, they all they all want to do it their way because it's uh, it's so hard to have success in the league. So if you're if you're going to fail, you have to fail your way. And I think going to Sean, um, we are so like minded on the way that he wants to approach the game: tough, physical play, effort character guys who care about their teammates and their community mm -hmm. and I think you're seeing that a lot with the people that he's bringing in right. um, the camaraderie between the guys the guys that identify with the city um, that are going to be guys that go out day in and day out they put the work in and you're going to enjoy cheering for those guys on Sunday absolutely right last <coughs> question what's next for Kyle Williams uh, you know, I've got two big softball games tomorrow. You know, I'm coach, <laughs> yeah. I'm co I'm coach Dad right now. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm I've got a few things going on. I'm kind of uh, I'm in a I'm in a good spot where I don't have to just jump on anything. So, uh, you guys may see me around if you keep your eyes peeled. All right. nice. We'd well, like to see you back in Buffalo. I'd like to say on behalf of all the Bills Mafia, the Cold Front Report, it's been an honor watching you do your craft over the last many many years. You're a consummate professional. You embrace what the Bills Mafia loves about hard work and blue collar, punch you in the mouth, lunch pail guys. And it's just been an honor, and we thank you for that again, Kyle. Well, I appreciate it. The honor's mine. Thanks, guys. No, yeah. appreciate it, Kyle. Thank, thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Follow the cold front.